Hello amphibian lovers, it's Amphibian Boss here and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of herping at Taquani Nature Center in Ontario. Uh, I love coming here, it's a great place to be and right now I'm in this grassland area where they plant some trees and this is the best place to find snakes and frogs. Uh, and actually today I found this little pickle frog and I love these guys. I just love them because they're so important to our ecosystem. Uh, they provide a huge food source for many different kinds of animals, mammals, snakes, uh, turtles, and birds. Uh, it, they just prove a huge food source, but they're also amazing animals. Uh, look, get twice this, the size of this, uh, prove an even bigger meal for a snake, especially garter snakes. Uh, they love these grassland areas, especially pickle frogs and leopard frogs. Uh, they're very easy to distinguish between colors, uh, but pickle frogs normally have kind of more blotches and leopard frogs have spots uh, and leopard frogs are normally green and pickle frogs are brown. Uh, beautiful frog, uh, a nice specimen, perfect. Uh, I'll give him his best luck to survive out here without getting eaten by a snake. Uh, but hopefully we find some snakes also looking for these frogs. But they prove a huge, huge part in our ecosystem as a food source to many different animals. Now actually what I just found here is actually really amazing. I'm not sure if it's normal color or if it is an albino because right here which just jumped in front of the camera. Hold on here. Is a little spring peeper. Right here. Little tiny spring peeper. Uh, these are, I'm thinking, it, it looked like an albino to me, but I'm thinking now it's just, um, it's natural color. Uh, tiny little frog it's only the size of my finger it's tiny uh, this is so cool to find actually I just saw a snake jump in or slither on into the grass but wow that is really cool I'm surprised I actually saw this guy well, these are really cool if you find them in the spring they have those cool markings on their backs and just little they're only about the size of your finger and they're actually in the tree fog frog family uh, they have these little pads on their fingers and he's probably doing what all the rest of the frogs are doing out here hunting for little insects yeah beautiful beautiful frog and they're really neat uh, but I'm gonna let this guy go he can go find some more crickets so here's our little leopard frog pal right here uh, you can tell because they have spots instead of blotches they have some blotches but mostly it's spots bright green uh, same build as a pickle frog and serving the same purpose they're just a little bit different different species but good find more frogs for the day third species in possible way to catch turtles in this pond unless it's on film or we go swimming we could trap them or we could throw nets out there I have none of those things and I'm not going swimming in this pond that's a turtle a little painted turtle Maybe a bigger, a bit bigger than my hand. But very easy to distinguish. Pony out in the water, if you can see that. Pretty cool. So, after pulling this guy out of the mud, first snake of the day, I'm thinking it's a DK's brown snake. He's, you know, brown color, small body, um, that little head. They're quite common. Uh, these guys don't get too big. This is about their 
Um, usual size, don't get any bigger than that. Sometimes a little bigger, but that's that's actually a big DK's brown snake if it's a DK's brown snake. Um, it's actually in shed a bit here. They primarily eat insects, though small frogs and you know snakes are very not picky animals. So when it comes to eating anything, they got it. But they primarily eat small frogs and insects, so they're great on pest control, especially. Uh, quite common, not endangered or threatened or anything. They're just beautiful animals. Uh, really fun to catch. He's actually in shed so you can't really see his beautiful markings. They usually have really really cool brown specks on them and on the head but he is in shed so it is kind of hard to see those brown flecks. There's some there. Yeah that's the first snake of the day. He must all, all over me. That's their main defense. They can't really bite. It's very small teeth. Yep. That's the first snake of the day. Hopefully we find more.